here in the, the Frisco show experience. Beautiful downtown Frisco, Texas. Perfect weather. We're here with John Sales with Steam Action. John, how long have you been in business? Uh, I've been in the carpet cleaning industry for over 50 years. 50 in, years in manufacturing? No, not in manufacturing. 45 years in manufacturing. Wow. In 45 years, how many truck mounts have you made? Any idea? I've lost track a long time ago. Got them all over the country. Yeah. So this is a beast of a unit. I haven't seen one this big. I remember you brought that one one year to Connections, and you're running like 18 wands off of it or something crazy. <laughs> this will run three but, wands. This is a three wand machine. Powered by a Caterpillar 60 horsepower. Where, where else do they use this engine? What are their, uh, just a full on tractor? Yeah, they use them on tractors, they use them on scoopers, uh, small uh, devices that uh, scoop the dirt and that sort of thing. Okay, so you got the, the how many horsepower? 60 horsepower. 60 horsepower. Turbocharged. Turbocharged diesel. That's correct. And it's spinning at 6,000, is that a roots blower? Yeah, roots blower 68, 68. 8, 850 CFM. And it's all heat exchanger, right? All heat exchanger. And what is it, 2,500 PSI CAT or a general pump? Uh, it's a general pump, uh, goes up to 3,600 PSI. 3,600? Holy mama, look at that thing. It's a big one. Wow, I've never seen one like that. Boy, that thing really is off a tractor, isn't it? Well, everything's nice and out in the open, isn't it? Easy yes, to work on. It sure is. Uh, so what, you could fit this, could you fit this in a cargo van? It's awful tall. <clears throat> no, you would need to put it you in need a box van box or a trailer. trailer. Yeah, trailer. And uh, it comes complete with this, this is your uh, vacuum tank. The vacuum tanks run from two to 300 uh, gallons. Do you have a uh, baffle partition between each one of these caps? Yes, we have to. That's why you got, okay. Yes. Collapse. Otherwise, it'll collapse, huh? And then your fresh tank is what? Uh, fresh tank is also uh, anywhere up to 200, 300 gallon, whatever size they What's need. that solenoid on top doing? That is a special safety system that when the water gets above 240 degrees, it automatically goes back into the fresh water tank. That's pretty clever. You got these little uh, titanium steel combo wands. Yeah. You're making these? No, we have another company that makes them for us. We're lightweight, Teflon. You flip the head over? Okay. It comes with this glide? Yes. That's Teflon? Teflon. Are these uh, from Tony at Cal Tools? They are. They are? I thought I recognized that. Okay. Let's go around to the other side. At least you got the best part here, the shark vacuum. We love those things. So that's an all stainless frame. What in the hell is this big old rocket tool, tube right That's there? That's one of the three, one of the four heat exchangers. One of the four. They're all tube heat exchangers? Um, they actually have coils in them, each one. It's a coil inside of a tube, not a straight tube. Yeah, it's not a straight tube. Can I hop in there? Sure. So, where is your uh, your vacuum relief? It's up on the front of the tank. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. This is a cool little manifold. I like your silver hose. So this is one of the heat exchangers, and these two as well. Right, and then there's a third water water heat exchanger down below. So it's, these are all exhaust. That's water down there. Wow. It works off the radiator. I can't believe the size of that cap pump. Look at that thing. It's a big one. Oh, I didn't realize this was a direct couple. Yeah, it is. Any reason in particular? It's, the engine's too damn uh, big to offset from yeah, the blower. You don't want to offset them. You you burn up your belts like they do on other units. So what am I doing to replace that coupler? I don't have to move that engine or blower, do I? No, it's about a uh, ten minute job. This Loosen is, this collar. Yeah, you take these two collars off. They take them off. Slide that this, coupler slide, over. Put a new one on, and it's split in half. So you just put it in. How many of these machines have you sold? Are out there? Uh, Caterpillar, the first uh, bunch we got in was 25 units, and we're down to a couple already. So. How long are these couplers proven to last? Uh, approximately five years. Five years? Yeah. Five years of, of daily use? Yes. I didn't think couplers lasted that long. That's yeah, pretty they, impressive. They do if you align them properly. And uh -huh. So what? you got two lube ports here. These are still grease. This is a grease blower, right? Right. Are you able to grease it from the front? Is that yes, where those? Right, it goes right through. So the front. this hose is full of grease. And where is it? Where is it getting expelled? Do you have hoses on the bottom? Uh, 
where's it getting what? Where's the grease getting expelled to? This cup? Oh, it must yes. be. Yeah, it has that cup. Oh, that's very clever. I like that. That's a good idea. Fuel pump. And what's this? This is your uh, water supply line here? Yeah, that's an antifreeze system. If you want an antifreeze. Damn, just open it up. Looks like you it. thought of everything. So where would you take a... If you live in suburbia, where would you take a Caterpillar motor like that to get uh, service? Cat can do anything on these. They're generally very, very good mechanics, or any mechanic can work on it. But if it's a uh, Caterpillar problem, Caterpillar prefers to take care of it. And we're not voiding any warranties? A five-year warranty on the engine. Then carpet cleaning use is okay with them, right? Yes. Interesting. Turbo, huh? Turbo is right there. So, if you're running one wand, what RPMs would you need to run it at to you, create heat? You turn it down to 1800 RPM. 1800. Uh, if you want to run two wands, uh, you turn it up to about 2000 RPM. Three. Uh, 2300 RPM. Uh, you may not know the answer to this, but let's say you're running two 12 flow, like Pro Chem titanium wands, so putting out a lot of water, and you're running at max RPMs, what kind of heat would you? Uh, with all the heat exchangers engaged, you can turn off one of them. You can bypass uh, it? Yeah, you can bypass it. The we've exhaust been, or the water one? Uh, the water one. We've been able to maintain 240 degrees even with three wands. Solid, really? So, yeah, it's, ah. it's a big, big It's a big unit. mother. Yeah. All right, so the, the big question, how much is this unit here with the tanks and uh, With the 200 here? to 300 gallon tanks, electric hose reels, 400 feet of hose, three wands, Completely installed, it's around $50,000. It seems kind of reasonable. Uh, we, so you uh, put that in a, uh, whatever, another $50,000 truck. I think you can get yeah. in a Zuzu with a box, a box for about fifty, dollars right? That's right. So $100,000. Right. So you're competing with Aerotech, essentially. Yes, we are. It's a slide in Aerotech. Wow. That's pretty cool, yeah, John. Aerotech has this same blower. Uh, same size, it's a different blower. There's a dual splash. I have an Aerotech, that's oh, why. Okay. I'm, yeah. Um, but I'm sure the performance is exactly the same. Yeah, we. Uh, so why not? Why choke this down right here? Why not keep it at uh, five inches? We actually have designed and engineered this vacuum system so that if two guys lay down wands, the other one will still have full power. So we, we choke. We, we choke keep, it there. We keep resistance everywhere uh -huh. in the system. So two guys lay their wands, suck in air. The Just third guy continues to clean at 14 inches of lift. Abs and absolutely. Well, this goes up to 18 inches. 18. That's why you got a baffle wall between each. That's right. And plus, this is a water cooled blower. Uh huh. Uh, this is the water cooling system, right? Are you able to measure the CFMs on those three wands? Yes, it shows right on the front machine. Really? Oh, the CFM. The CFM. I'm yeah. sorry, Not I'm not looking at HG. Right. No, it's, it's hard to measure this. Yeah. Well, it can only get, what, 200 CFMs through a wand, no matter what, anyways, right? Yeah, even a two-inch wand, you're lucky if you get 200. Yeah. But a beast like this, you should be able to get 200, 600 total, 200 each wand, no problem. It's, it's got the extra power. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, thanks for the interview there, John. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you.